Colorado first at six tonight. Right now, hundreds of people are supporting each other as they share moments and memories of the life of a Douglas County deputy murdered while on duty. A vigil is now underway for 29 year old Zachary Parrish. A gunman ambushed him while on patrol yesterday. Deputy Parrish was one of several responding to a call at this Highlands Ranch apartment complex when the gunman opened fire. In all, six people were hurt, including four other law enforcement officers. We do have team coverage for you tonight, including a closer look at all of those hurt in this. We start tonight with that vigil that's happening right now. Our Jamie Larry live at Mission Hills Church in Littleton for us. And Jamie, a huge show of support for Deputy Parrish. Yeah, and the pastor here, Craig Smith, said this is exactly what the Parrish family wanted and needed specifically. Zach Parrish's wife, Gracie, she wanted the memorial here tonight, hoping that it could offer some sort of healing for the family. And as we take a live look inside, you can see that's exactly what they're getting. It is a packed house, standing room only right now. So many people behind the Parrish family. Every seat in the sanctuary is occupied. And of course, we're hearing from Zach's fellow officers and some family members, but Pastor Smith, he's giving anybody who wants to talk the opportunity to do so and share memories about Zach. He was just 29 years old, a father to two little girls ages four and one. He'd been a Douglas County Sheriff's deputy for about seven months. His wife was the first to take the podium tonight and with her two girls by her side, she is overwhelmed by the support. And I will do everything in my power, Zach Parrish, to honor you. And I will raise these girls to love you. It means so much to hear your stories and to hear about Zach, because that's what I'm clinging on to right now. So I want to hear about him, and I want to soak it in. So please share if you feel led because it means so much to us. And of course, that is exactly what is going on inside right now. The Parrish family has huge support from law enforcement, a big family there, but the pastor here says the congregation is 6,000 strong and it's going to continue to support the Parrish family until they can get through this, so for the long haul. Live in Littleton, Jamie Leary covering Colorado First. All right, Jamie, thank you.